You've just finished your product model in Keyshot, and now you want to get it into Glossy. I'll show you the way. The key to exporting usable models out of Keyshot is optimization. Material textures and mesh density are the main factors. However, I would try exporting at various stages to see what you can get away with before breaking the file size limit. But the one thing you'll want to do for sure is get rid of any geometry that won't be seen. First thing we'll do is save this file as a copy. Next, we'll target and select all internal geometry that is completely obstructed. Depending on your scene organization, this can be fast and painless, or we could be here for a while. Organize your scenes, do better, and delete. I would try my first export attempt here. At best, you're already done. At worst, you'll at least be able to see how much optimization you'll actually need to do. Skip ahead to see how to do that. Let's go into our material view. Right click on any duplicate materials and select link duplicate materials. Within the dialog, you can choose to link all duplicates or select specific duplicates and link them with link materials. This will help you not export extra textures bloating the file size unnecessarily. Looking back at your mesh, if you're using NURBS, lucky you, you can use the Retessellate tool. Do this by first selecting your target mesh and inside the Tools dropdown, select Retessellate. The simplest way to use this tool is to use the tessellation quality slider. The lower the value, the less amount of faces it uses to form your mesh. Lower it just enough so that the silhouette of your shape remains intact. For a more refined tessellation, play around with the other three sliders as well. I find angle tolerance to be very useful for curvy shapes, while maximum edge length is useful for long objects like poles and flat planes. When satisfied, hit apply and done. This method is reversible, so feel free to experiment. If your mesh does not use NURBS, use the Mesh Simplification tool instead. Select your mesh and in the Tools dropdown, click Mesh Simplification. Keyshot will analyze your mesh, then a dialog window will open, showing a slider controlling your target number of triangles. Again, pay close attention to the silhouette as you make changes. Careful before you hit Apply. This method is destructive and you will lose your original topology. Finally, it's time to export. Go up to File Export and click Export to GLB slash GLTF. If you modified your UV mapping, check Keep Original UVs. And unless you're using geometry nodes, click Prefer Textures. If you're still experiencing file sizes too high, you can try lowering the texture resolution. Now export. Back in Glossy, we'll click the Upload button, then drag our model into the window. Once your model finishes processing, you can click the model icon to create a new project. Name your project, then hit complete. Once the studio launches, examine your model and get ready to create beautiful, stunning images using Glossy Studio.